I don't think people understand fully how hard it is when you put or take certain things to a certain level but you get the idea of it when you're in grade school of how hard it is most of y'all been to like an algebra class and stuff like that and they write equations on the board and a lot it's hard it's real hard it's not easy some people pass some people fail when you put hip-hop events that come from in urban areas out in the parks and stuff like that and years decades later they're in arenas they don't understand how hard it is and how hard people work to put things together like that it's a collective effort it's not just one person putting those events together. There's over hundreds of thousands of worker ants and stuff like that. And it's actually a hierarchy within each area to put in to a gathering. And that's even harder. You know what I'm saying? Ticket prices, gas, clothes, food, everything. The police, security, equipment, electricity, water, plumbing. All these things come together. And when you do stuff like this, all of them have the same frame of mind. It's not about me. Well, apparently, it's only one position. It's not about me. Does not work. And that's being the MC of an event where you perform as it's not about me but then you form an opinion and think your opinion counts and that is right confined in the luxury you may lose yourself this is not the only place that it happens it's always at the wrong time you're human you're gonna make mistakes wrong fucking mistake you have people now looking towards where before or prior they were not looking towards there's a word that's coming out and it's called sellout or two pop that is sort of kind of a contradictory statement from people who are in employment where they need things to be to pop to sell out in order to survive we're talking about a football event not a club, not a high school gym, not a stage, somewhere, you know how they have those little stages, exactly sort of like how dude was on. And um, it's, it's really gonna be the last straw. It's like real big, you're trying to make a statement that something is real 
other than something else. The only thing that's not real was the person who said the fucking statement. You can't classify. You're not there to classify. You classify. You're wrong. Your math is wrong. Your math is wrong. You got to do the math over. There's no doing over. Now. Your opinion is wrong. What you said. Was against everything. That actually. Supported. Everything. That have you there. People lose their selves. In luxury. In the confines of it. And they feel this energy as of saying what's coming out my mouth will change everything. You're fucking right. Everything that came out your mouth changed. The headliner is now not performing. The president of a company is now withdrawn. Everything in your math is negative, minus, minus, subtract, 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 not even divide. You have a company fluent, succulent, its animal turn. It's not there scratching its head and thinking. Oh, this is how you feel? This is what we're going to do. Where you did not motherfucking do that. You're sitting there scratching your head, scratching your head. You're still there. I don't even know why you even thought about. But when you make a decision like that, drastically to rile the crowd up and make them feel other than themselves. Them people do not need to be defined thus why they have individual accounts elsewhere to define themselves. They know who the fuck they are. And if they don't, they don't need you to define or to even Describe your definition other than everything that it was brought into the confines of fucking luxury. That's like working at a bank or mint saying fuck money. You see what I'm saying? Fuck this shit. No, y'all are real. This shit is fake. You do that there, you're fucking gone. Now we're talking about sponsors, spokespersons, hit records that are still climbing the fucking charts. AKA selling out in a sellout situation. When you make a move in that direction and the math is equating to every move that you're describing as sellout and is still selling out in your definition, their math is correct. You went on stage, you grabbed the mic. You said something in your caliber. Math changed. They tried to reciprocate. Who's wrong here? You cannot change history. 
cannot change a lot of things that you've seen in the past. In the confines of luxury, you need to control, trust me, everything that you're saying. Because life itself has a lot harder math than what you know. You don't know these people on a personal level. You don't know the people around you on that much of a personal level. When you do things like that, you're saying it as whatever your decision was to say your statement at the time is your comfort zone. Way the fuck out in the swamps, fucking meddling. Where you need everything in that luxury to get you back where the fuck you came from where you you can only make that statement at that point in time. It's not this first time you said it. The second time you said it out publicly. It's your second strike. But this is not a strike. It's a pop fly all the way to fuck out the fucking game. In this story, there's not going to be a third strike. Because you're not playing ball no more. Nobody at this time is not even going to fucking gamble to dangle their fucking career and everything they built on for your fucking definition of what's real and what's not real. Because we know what side show. In the fucking story. And we're gonna see your decision and how comfort that zone is. We'll see how you talk when you see them motherfuckers. It should have happened right then and there, and actually you kinda sorta did, but you still got where the fuck you got to. That shit is not cool. Everybody else had to restrain themselves. Unless they were an artist performing. While other people just fly off the fucking mouths, not caring. Thinking they're provoking something. Oh, you provoke something, alright. You provoke the end of your fucking career. Have a nice life. 